Hello everyone, my name is Rosalind Dyson, and I just wanna show you a way to solve dosage calculation problems using the dimensional analysis, but I'm also adding into there what I like to call the Thyssen method. First of all, why do we even use um, dimensional analysis? Um, several reasons. One, it's a simple way to set up dosage problems. It decreases the dependency on memorizing things like formulas. Okay, it can be used for all dosage problems. I promise you, y'all, I promise, all of them, okay? All calculations can be entered to, into a single equation if you wanted to, or you can break them up and break it down into separate steps, okay? It allows for the identification of incorrect setup before the problem is complete, therefore reducing the number of medication errors, okay? So what's required in a DA equation? First of all, we need the desired answer units. We need the given quantity and units to convert, and one or more conversion factors if we need it. All right, so what are Thyssen's three questions? I'm glad you asked. The first one, what am I looking for? Second one, what do I know? Third, what do I need? So what am I looking for? What do I know? And what do I need? So for example, how many seconds are in 10 minutes? All right, first question, what am I looking for? According to this question, I'm looking for seconds, okay? So I start off with seconds here. What am I looking for? I'm looking for seconds. Because I'm looking for seconds and I start off with seconds, on the other side of the equal sign, sign I'm going to, I know it has to be seconds. So what do I know about seconds? Well, I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute, okay? So here, what am I looking for? Seconds, because I'm starting off with seconds, I'm gonna start off with seconds here. What do I know about seconds? There are 60 seconds in one minute. Minute is at the bottom, so therefore, I know it has to go at the top. So how many minutes do I need? According to my question, I need 10 minutes, all right? So what am I looking for? I'm looking for seconds. Because I started off with seconds, I'm gonna start off with seconds over here. So what do I know about seconds? I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. Minute is at the bottom. I know it has to go at the top. How many minutes do I need? I need 10 minutes, I'm gonna throw that over one, okay? So again here, I'm looking for seconds, I know, that I have to start off with seconds on here. There are 60 seconds in one minute, minutes at the bottom. I know it has to go at the top. How many minutes did I need? I needed 10, all right? Once I've done that, I've crossed out because minutes can cancel out, all right? If what I'm left with equals what I'm looking for, then I know I've set the problem up correctly, all right? So once I do my math, 60, 60 times 10, then divide that by one, I end up with 600 seconds, all right? Let's um, apply this to the clinical setting, all right? Let's say my doctor orders alprazolam tablets, one milligram PO daily, all right? What I have available or the concentration that's going to be on that label is 0 0.5 milligram tablets. Anytime we talk about what's available or what the concentration is, it's always per something because we're comparing something. So here it's 0 0.5 milligrams per one tablet, all right? So I wanna know how many tablets will the nurse administer? Remember my three questions. What am I looking for? I'm looking for tablets, all right? What do I know about tablets? According to up here, what do I know? I know that in one tablet, I have 0 0.5 milligrams. All right, and then I need to know um, how many milligrams do I need? Okay, so let's look at this problem. So I said I was gonna be looking for tabs, so I start off with tabs. Because I start off with tabs, I know I have to start off with tabs on this side. So what did I know about tabs? I know that in one tab, there's 0 0.5 milligrams. Milligrams is at the bottom, so I know it has to go at the top, how many milligrams did I need? According to my order, I needed one, okay? So milligrams cancels out. I'm left with tabs. If what I'm left with equals what I'm looking for, then I know I set it up correctly, 
All right, so I do my math and I end up with two tabs, okay? Let's try another one. So we have our order is low pressure, 0 0.1 gram PO daily, all right? What I have available is 100 milligrams per tablet, all right? So I need to know how many tabs will the nurse administer, all right? So what am I looking for? I'm looking for tabs. What do I know about tabs? I know that in one tab, I have 100 milligrams, all right? Again, that tab has to go at the top. What I'm looking for, I'm looking for tabs. Because I'm looking for tabs, I know I have to start off with tabs. So what do I know about tabs? Again, I know that in one tab, that's 100 milligrams. Milligrams is at the bottom. I know it has to go at the top. But my order is not in milligrams. It's in grams, all right? But I know I have to have milligrams here because they have to pencil out. So what do I know about milligrams? Well, I know that 1,000 milligrams is in one gram. Gram is at the bottom. I know it has to go at the top. My order is in grams. So how many grams do I need? So again, what am I looking for? What do I know? What do I need? And I can throw that over one. Once I do my math, y'all, I'm sorry about my um, little cross outs, but once um, I have it all set up, milligrams cancels out, grams cancels out. I'm left with tabs. If what I'm left with equals what I'm looking for, then I'm set it up correctly. All right? So I do my math and I end up with one tab. All right, sometimes there are some very common errors when we're talking about DA equations. Sometimes we input the incorrect data, all right? For example, if I don't know my conversion factors, all right, and I put the wrong conversion, that can mess me up, all right? If I don't multiply correctly, that can cause an issue. If I'm writing and I can't understand my handwriting, that can cause some errors, all right? Again, and Errors with conversion factors. So we need to really know those con conversion factors. All right. So this is just a basic um, how to for DA. And again, those three questions work for any type of DA equation, any type. All right. If y'all have any questions or you want to see me do a different type of problem, go ahead, leave a comment, and I'll be so more than happy to walk you through it or to develop a video. Thank you so much.